The science is beyond dispute and the verdict clear. Sea levels are rising. Coastlines are shrinking. We've seen record drought, spreading famine, and storms that are growing stronger with each passing hurricane season. Climate change and our dependence on foreign oil, if left unaddressed, will continue to weaken our economy and threaten our national security. Every day we wake up to a world that is spiraling out of control. People have said for decades that the world is chaotic and disorderly, but I haven't really noticed it until now. This has been the country's worst and deadliest tornado outbreak since the Great Depression. In 2011, there were 820 natural catastrophes that were documented around the world, costing $380 billion in economic losses. In 2010, the amount of earthquakes increased by 30%. The catastrophic earthquake in Chile was so powerful, it knocked the Earth off of its axis and shortened the length Libyan of Libyan rebels are now chanting for Syrians to follow their revolutionary path. Hundreds of mercenaries, some of whom are said to be former terrorists, in fact, are now ready to pick up arms yet again, this time to overthrow President Assad. Artiz Aksana Boyko reports from Tripoli. As you probably know, riots and political unrest have come to many countries across the world. We've seen dictatorships in Tunisia and Egypt fall. Fresh shooting at Century Theaters, 14 300 East Alameda Avenue. We're seeing somebody shooting in the auditorium. The average unemployment rate for 2008 was 5.8 percent. Now, in 2012, the average unemployment rate is 8.3 percent. The homeless population in America continues to grow. The unemployment rate continues to rise. The housing market and economy in America continues to go Elsewhere down. Elsewhere in our country tonight, the countryside is burning up. It is official now. It is the worst drought in a quarter century. And we're in it, and it's causing great damage. The rising to gas prices, increasing number of droughts, the warmer weather each year remind me that the food that I that we take for granted might not be there tomorrow. Much of the nation, more than a thousand counties have been declared natural disaster areas. We will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake, God is our refuge and strength. Many people want answers to what is happening in our world today. Who can they trust? What can they rely on? With whom can they place their confidence? I firmly believe that one such place is the Bible. Within the pages of this extraordinary book, not only will you find answers to what is happening in our world today, but hope for tomorrow. If you want to understand Bible prophecy, and what is happening in our world around us, then I want to invite you to the Fallbrook Adventist Church, October 6th, Saturday night at 7 p.m. We'll be discussing topics like the mark of the beast, who is the Antichrist, how near are we to the end, and much more. Topics that you don't want to miss.